All right, today we're gonna open up a 1990 NBA Hoops box. This is a junk wax box, but there are some actual valuable cards in here, so let's get started. Uh, so one of the funny things that I noticed about this box was there are two cards in, in it that you would not expect to be valuable. One is of Sam Vincent, and the other is of Mark Jackson. Um, so we'll talk about that as we get going. And I will get these over here. If you grab these ones over there. And what we'll do, I'll move this guy over to the corner. Um, we'll try to get through this because these are 36 packs, 36 packs, 15 cards per pack. Uh, so there's a lot of cards to get through here. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about why those cards, if we find them, um, are valuable. So uh, with the Sam Vincent, it actually has... Michael Jordan, oh my gosh, this is one of the cards we're looking for right off the bat. Uh, it's a Michael Jordan All-Star East card. We'll go ahead and sleep that one up. Um, so the one with Sam Vincent actually has Michael Jordan in a number 12 jersey. That card has gone for over $1,000 on eBay. I will say there is a little bit of edge wear on here. So this is definitely not a perfect 10, um, 9, maybe an 8 on this one. Uh, so we'll just keep those over there. So I got a Jordan in the first pack. That's pretty encouraging. Nothing too crazy otherwise. The other card, this, the Mark Jackson, it, it, it's popular for uh, not the best. Of, oh my gosh, a second Michael Jordan in a second pack. Like this, I'm, I'm beginning to think this. this is a very undervalued box here. I think I paid like 50 or 60 bucks for this box, so. To get two Michael Jordans in the first two packs is pretty incredible. And this one's gone, like in a 10, this one's got, actually has like an ink error. Um, so it's probably not a 10, probably a nine on this one. And a little bit of edge wear. So these ones actually don't hold up as well, it looks like. Um, but still valuable. So back to uh, the Mark Jackson. So we'll put the rookies aside too. And that it'll do those two. Uh, Mark Jackson, there was the Menendez brothers. I don't know if you remember the Menendez brothers from the 90 were convicted for killing their parents, which is really creepy. Um, but they're sitting in the picture in this card of Mark Jackson, and it's gone for about 600 bucks in a PSA 10, which is insane. Uh, Stacey King rookie, Tim Hardaway rookie. I'll put Patrick Ewing aside too, you know, put some of the Hall of Fame players. There's the Sam Vincent right there. So see, you can see that Mike, uh, Michael Jordan's wearing a 12 jersey. That's very uncommon. This card in a 10 has gone for uh, over a thousand bucks. Now, this one's not a 10. It has some blemishes on the front, but still valuable nonetheless for spending 50 bucks on a box. So we got three of the cards we we're looking for in the first three packs. This is unbelievable. So I think we can just wrap up the video now. Uh, Kevin Johnson. So I know um, from this year, there's also Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, definitely some other cards, Charles Barkley. That'd be great to get. Some of these guys, Eric Floyd. Not, they, they call this uh, just like mass produced junk wax because there's just so many of them. So it's, it's hard to find value in them. But because there's so many cards, um, like you see, we've already gotten three quality cards in a short period of time. So definitely worth it. The centering I've noticed on a lot of these is off. Clyde Drexler. Drizon. Drizon. Might be worth something. You guys should see the floor in here. It is packs everywhere. Glenn Rice, rookie. If you see any cards in here in the comments, uh, let me know if you can mark where it was. If, if I missed one of value, 
put. Uh, that's not the Reggie I was looking for. Look for Reggie Miller. That's actually how I found out about the Menendez card was I was reading some comments and they're like, yeah, that Sam Vincent card is one that people are really looking for. Scotty Pippen. There we go. That's definitely a valuable card there. I mean, like value, it's it's more than a dollar, right? So, uh, especially because of the Last Dance documentary, there is, there's some residue on that, actually. So we'll have to see if we can clean that up. If we can't clean it up, then it's probably not worth much, but. All right. Another Clyde Drexler. A lot of coaches in here. The only coach that I'd be interested in if we got uh, Phil Jackson. Uh, he was the coach of the Bulls during their championship season uh, back then. So, BJ Armstrong, rookie. John Stockton. A little bit of edge wear. Decent condition, though. All right. Wow, 36 packs, guys. I mean, it, it's just like for the money, you just, you get a lot of value. Uh, but then you have a lot of cards you gotta figure out, what am I gonna do with? Am I gonna donate these? All right, Akeem Elijah one. Reggie Miller. Eddie Johnson. Oh, Magic Johnson. Probably sleeve that one up. Just to be safe. There's supposed to be a documentary coming out of Magic this year. Um, him and Larry Bird, their rival. Rivalry. So we'll sleeve that up. And Johnny Moore. Alright. We're actually getting through these pretty quick. I I'm surprised. Uh I've opened quite a few 36 packs though, so I've had my fair share of this before. It's John Williams, John Williams again, Jeff Malone, Michael Jordan, another one of the All Star. Uh, the edge wear on these though is killing me. I'll see if I can kind of show you the edge wear down here and on there. It's just not perfect. Um, they sometimes factor that in. I'd have to look at what the other cards that are graded. So we'll just have to see. Stu Jackson. All right. We're whittling down on the first half of packs. Another Michael Jordan. What is this? Okay. Edgeware still once again. This is why it is hard, even though they are mass produced, it's hard to get a 10 uh, just because that the edges just are not the greatest. The corners are good. Oh, no, corners aren't good on this one. Still, one Michael Jordan could potentially pay for the box. So still worth it. Got quite a few so far. Fat Lever. I don't, that's just an amazing name. I know it's not his, it's not his actual name. Um, it's interesting because I've opened other packs where they use his real name. Same thing with Magic Johnson. Sometimes it's Urban, sometimes it's Magic. It just depends on the manufacturer and how they felt that year. All right, Spud Webb. John Stockton again. Different John Stockton though. KJ, not valuable, but for us Arizonans, uh, we appreciated Kevin Johnson back in the day. So, Vinny Johnson, Dominic Wilkins, and I mix these up, keep those together there. Yeah, you know what's funny, because you think about the, the Sam Vincent card that we pulled, or the Mark Jackson that we're still looking for. Oh, hopefully I let him pass it already. Um, they're just not players you typically look for, so I, I, I try to put these aside. Oh, Charles Barkley, not wearing... The Suns jersey, like I'd want, but we'll take it. Charles Barkley. Centering's off a little bit on the left or right. Uh, 
Yeah, it will be interesting to know how these boxes are kept because if they're in dry weather conditions or like in storage or something like that, uh, that definitely can impact the cards. Phil Jackson. I don't think I'm going to sleep up. Oh, we're going to sleep up Larry Bird though. That documentary comes out, I predict that Larry Bird and Magic Johnson cards are going to skyrocket. Just like they did for Michael Jordan when The Last Dance came out. People were super excited. Got back into cards. Sam Mitchell. Let's put these rookies over here. And Charles Oakley. Clyde Drexler. Sometimes Clyde's worth something, sometimes he's not. Oh, that center is way off. So, still looking for a Mark Jackson. Four packs left in this half. Will we get the Menendez brothers? Which is, just seems so weird to even be looking for that card. Cliff Robinson, rookie. Probably worth something. Dennis Rodman. Oh, there's some scratches on this one. I'll put it aside, though. Lafayette. So that's Fat Lever. So they, they used this fat once, and then they decided not to use it again. Um, Reggie Miller, All-Star. I just love opening these boxes so you can see, like, the quality of the cards are... I mean, like, a Prism card opens so much different uh, these days than these old cards. Okay, another Scotty Pippen. This one actually looks like in decent condition. Let's see. Eddie Johnson, John Bagley. Still another Magic Johnson. Let's see. Oh, it's in decent condition. We'll put this one aside. With hopes that the documentary pays off. Alvin Robbins, Robinson, checklist. Some people love the checklist. I'm not a checklist guy. Charles Barkley, let's go. Uh, it's on the NBA All-Star team, so at least he doesn't have a Sixers jersey on this time. Nothing against the Sixers, by the way. I just am a Phoenix Suns fan being from Phoenix. So when I think of Charles Barkley, I think of the Suns. All right, Todd Murphy. Still no Mark Jackson, which is crazy. All right, so this is the first. Now, we got these just ready to go for us. So Dennis Rodman, Defensive Player of the Year. This actually is a valuable card in a 10. This one is not a 10 because of the edge wear, which... We'll have to see how it goes. You know, there's two different places. So I can either sell it on eBay or check out my cards.com. Probably check out my cards for that one. Let's see. Carl Malone. Let's see. Bill Musselman, Acres, Brooks, Tucker. David Robinson. So this is his rookie year. So to get his all-star card, definitely worth something. Let's leave that up. I want to say that one doesn't go as much as just the standard base card. And let's keep going here. Dominique Wilkins. Sherman Douglas. Sean Elliott. Purvis Ellison. Not sure if he was good. Joe Dumars. Purvis Short. I didn't, who, who would have thought we'd get two Purvises in the same pack? It's like crazy. Charles Barkley. Once again, that one center is not that great. I'm probably not going to sleeve it. Cliff Robinson. Patrick Ewing. Phil Jackson again, centering's off. We'll put that aside. Larry Bird, 
Definitely a winner for Larry Bird. Another one that we hope that the documentary pays off for. Centering is off on that, unfortunately, on this side. Makes a huge difference when it comes to grading. So, those two sides. And so many choices. So many choices. Pooh Richardson. Oh, the Vlade, actually. This guy might be worth something. Vlad Vlade. Jay Vincent, I I have a feeling, I have a feeling that I've actually passed a Mark Jackson like twice. Just because I'm not used to looking for his name. But this Scotty Pippen right here, beautiful NBA All-Star team shirt. And... I'll wrap it up for that pack. So we opened a bunch of these ones just to kind of expedite the video because otherwise this video would be like an hour long. Isaiah Thomas? Well, that's, oh, Magic Johnson, most valuable player. Let's go. The uh, Unfortunately, the centering is off on this guy. So, But still worth something. You could get a nine with a little bit off-centered as long as everything else, edges, corners are good. All right, we got Mark West. Mark Jackson, there it is. This is the $600 card with the Menendez brothers right there on that side. Creepy as all heck, but worth, worth more money than any card that probably Mark Jackson has. Um, this one actually is not a 10 though, so. Be interesting to see what it'll go for. Uh, probably an eight, I would imagine, with the surface issues, a little bit of edge wear. We basically found all the cards. We found the Sam Vincent, the Mark Jackson, and all the Jordans. Yeah, so one of the things that I did was I talked to Carl Malone, a buddy of mine who, who was collecting cards. And I told him, hey, I got this box from my childhood of Jordans. Um, I wonder what they're worth. And he's like, oh, I actually bought a Jordan for $3,500, which that's crazy. Uh, but he sold it for 44000 which is even crazier. I was like, oh, man, I've got a box of Jordans. I need to look and see if they're valuable. Now, none of them are worth $44,000, i will tell you that. But it made me interested in saying, hey, I wonder how much mine are worth. And then I wonder if I were to break some boxes, if I could find some of the really valuable ones. So that kind of started this whole ordeal of breaking boxes. we got a Larry Bird here. Once again, the edge wear on these is rough, guys. So if you're going to buy one of these boxes, just keep that in mind. That's probably why they're so cheap. And I say cheap, I mean 50 bucks. But for, for a box of cards, like the 2020 boxes are going for 1500 bucks now. So it's just nuts. Um, so we've got another checklist here. AC Green. I don't really think an AC Green is worth anything, but we'll put it aside. All right, we're getting towards the end here on cards. Do you have probably eight packs left after this? Pat Riley, for some reason, I'm thinking Jack Sigma was, was valuable that year. Dan Marley, Phoenix Suns, look at that jersey back then. That's definitely not what I remember. Dick Anderson, rookie. Isaiah Thomas again. All right. Yeah, so, so far, I've got a ton of Jordans. Haven't sold any. Just collecting at this point. Eventually going to sell once PSA opens back up in July. I'll start getting some graded. So just in case you're wondering kind of how I'm, I'm have these set up here, far right. These are like the potential valuable cards. Uh, these are, well, these are actually valuable. We just don't know how valuable. These are potentially valuable. Uh, and these are also value, potentially valuable, but those are base cards. So that's how I'm separating them right at this point. Another Dennis Rodman. Edges are better on this one. You know what? I might sleeve that one up just to see. Look, you know, here's the crazy thing. When you pull a Dennis Rodman, and he has regular colored hair. That is, that actually might be rare. 
to not find them with like yellow or orange hair, that's what we'll have to look into that. All right, we got another Reggie Miller. Let's see, a little bit of edge wear on that one. All right, we are doing a lot better than I thought time-wise on this. But yeah, if you guys see any cards in here where you're like, why'd you pass that card? Definitely tell me in the comments below. Kim Elijah Wan, that one has some blemishes, unfortunately. Charles Barkley again. Let's see. There's some edge wear, but we'll put in a sleeve. Chuck deserves a sleeve. All right. All right. We got six packs left here. Mark Bryant. Not sure if Nick Anderson is worth anything. Sometimes I'll check out my cards. You get a couple bucks for them. Helps offset the cost of the box. Five packs left. Carl Malone. Be cool to get like another Jordan. Or even another like Sam Vincent or Mark Johnson. Johnson? Mark Jackson. Sorry, Mark Jackson. I am for real. Uh, Isaiah Thomas. Magic Johnson again. Centering is off, unfortunately. Corners messed up. Put it aside. Not much we can do to save that card. Mark Jackson again. Get out of here. All right, let's see. Once again, edge wear, and th they both had like some sort of scratch on the bottom, which is unfortunate. But let's just say you get 15, 20 bucks for it, raw. Um, offsets cops the box. I don't need to collect the Menendez twins or brothers, so let's put that there. Kevin McHale. No idea if it's valuable, but we'll put it aside. All right, three packs left. Keeping you guys in suspense. Save the best for last. A couple of rookies. Anything. Horse Grant. Scotty Pippen again. Got some edge wear. We're going to put this one aside. You know, towards the end of the box, I start to get fatigued, and I'm like, I don't know if I actually want to put that one in the sleeve. But really, the ones that you want to put in the sleeve are the Sam Vincent, the Mark Jackson, David Robinson. Oh, this is another rookie card. This is not. Actually, it might be the one that we want. Because we got the other one already, which was the all-star uh, card of David Robinson. This one, unfortunately, a little bit of corners are jacked up. But still a rookie card, David Robinson. Worth it. Manute Bull. Or his cheeks. Orlando Blackman. I don't know if that guy. Jeff Martin. And one pack left. And we've got Larry Bird on the top. A little bit of edge wear. Put that one to the side. James Worthy. Are you worthy? Yes. We'll put you aside too. Another checklist. Wayne Cooper. So we got Sean Kemp, rookie. I totally forgot this is Sean Kemp's rookie year. On the last pack, haven't pulled a Sean Kemp this whole time. So we're doing good here. Getting the Sean Kemp, David Robinson rookies. Got the Michael Jordans. All right, AC Green. And Brad Sellers, the last card. I'll put the AC Green aside. Let's do a quick recap. See our, uh, our top cards that we set aside here. So we got the Sean Kemp, David Robertson, Robinson, Mark Jackson. We got two of those. Charles Barkley, Dennis Rodman, Larry Bird, another Mark Jackson, Magic Johnson, Scotty Pippen. There's the other David Robinson rookie one. 
the Dennis Rodman Defensive Player of the Year. That one is worth something. Um, we'll just have to see. Charles Barkley, Magic Johnson again, Scottie Pippen, Larry Bird, Charles Barkley, and then here's the MJs. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson. It's interesting how they put Urban Johnson on that one. Scottie Pippen, Sam Vincent. There's the one with him with the with the 12. Michael Jordan again, and Michael Jordan. So as you can see, a lot of Jordans in here, a lot of rookie cards, totally worth it for the money that I paid. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.